Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final chapter of The Black Mirror. Last time, a lot more death happened. We got the keys, and in the end, we found out that the person who's been killing all those people has been us? Or perhaps it's been the spirit of Mordred taking control of us. Either way, we need to put a stop to this. So remember this when we went down here last time. Let's take another look. Some strange symbols in a circle. Hmm. The underground certainly had a different purpose in the past than just to keep the water away. Let's see. Well, what should we do here? Hmm. Seems the only thing we can click on is that. Uh, do we use the... No, not the key. Hmm. Actually, what do I do? Oh, here we go. The ring. And these symbols should look familiar. And some of them should actually look new, because, Those uh... symbols. They led me as far as here. So, remember, Samuel killed five people, and beside each of those people were a symbol. So there are more than five here, but we need to recognize which five we did. So if, uh, if you looked in the journal, it'll show you the ones that we recorded down and the order we did it. And I'll just let you know right now, it was first this one, and then it was this one, and then this one, and this one, and finally this one. These must be the catacombs that Marcus's chronicle mentions. I am filled with distress. Oh, me too. What is this? I don't know what the writing means. Hmm. Maybe it warns against entering. Price is something like, abandon all hope by ye who enter here, something like that. I don't know, we don't actually ever find out. Alright. So, uh, there are a lot of ways to die here. So, uh, let's go ahead and save the game. And let us begin the maze. Kind of reminds me of a King's Quest VI. Start left. Take a look around. Hmm, nothing much to see here. How about this way? Yeah, this definitely reminds me of the catacombs in uh, King's Quest VI. I have no idea whom it belonged to. Hmm. I've heard something in the distance. And I'll just tell you right now, if you're playing along, don't just go clicking on everything willy-nilly, because uh, anything can kill you here. If we go this way. It can't be opened. There's no lock on it. Hmm. Interesting. So there's no lock on it, but there's an opening there where a lock should be. That's uh, kind of the hint there. So let's go back down. And let's try this way. So there's an opening here. There's lots of openings like this. Most of them will kill you, but this one will not. So it's a lot of trial and there error an here. Opening in the wall. Hmm. 
And yeah, it's something I've said before and they do this in like, you know, Sierra games where you actually have to die in order to know what you actually need to do, which I don't think is a good mechanic in games. But oh well, this this is still a good game. I won't uh, argue that, but oh well. Anyway. So we've got a talisman. It fits the hand perfectly. Hmm. So that's a very interesting shape. Let's go back up this way. And uh, there are also bottomless pits that you can just walk into if you walk the wrong way. So be careful of that. There we go. And what does that get us? A stand. Something is missing there. And a couple of alcoves. Hmm. What is that? It's a map. That must be the map of the labyrinth. So I believe we're right here. And it just doesn't show us much. It just shows us that there's stairs to the right. And that's about it. I don't know. Maybe uh, Samuel will mark it along the way. Nothing we could do there, but uh, if there's something missing there, how about this spear? And when we do that, we see... What do we see? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Click that to turn that thing on or off. I'll leave that off for now. So let's head this way. Yeah, all those things are lit up now. And there's a door right there where the stairs should be. There's a hole right there. Let me save one more time and see what happens if I put my hand in there. Anything good? I'll have a peek. That's usually what happens. <laughs> so be careful. So yeah, the thing is, you don't, like, if you discovered that first, then you would suddenly not want to look in holes because you wouldn't realize that one of them actually has something. That makes this part kind of hard. Anyway. Let's take a look around here. What is this? We have a sword. The heck happened down here anyway? Was there a battle? What a fight that must have been. Several bodies are spread all over the corridor. Hmm. This looks to be more or less a dead end here. The roots of the trees have even found their way down here. Let's see, does our map say anything different since... No, we haven't uh, marked anything down. Let me go back up. So I think I missed... Oh yeah, here we go. It's paying so much attention to the whole life about this. Big candle. Okay. And if we hold our map to this. It shows us four glowing squares. This shows what we need to actually light up since there are like those little globe lamps everywhere. So uh, let's begin. So 
So I believe we want to light this one up. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I was wrong. Back up. I see, I'm, it may seem like I'm going in a really roundabout way, but like I said, there are places where you can just fall down and die. With no warning. It's not much to see, so I don't think I'll show it off, but let's, uh... So we want to press this button here. Alright. Back up. Yeah, I forgot I can double click. Makes things a little bit quicker. I see if you approach this from the south, you uh, you fall and die. So let's see here. We need to light this button here, but how? So here's the weird thing that you need to do. I don't know how to figure this out. Let's throw the helmet down here. And the sword. I think this is just one of those things where you just start getting frustrated enough to click everything on everything and then you just kind of figure out to do this. Like, I don't know if there's anything, like, in the game that even hints that this is what you need to do. But, yeah. So now we can hit this button. And finally, we go back this way. And we light these up. And that should be it. Jesus, very Diablo looking. can't look at her or make any comment, we might as well just enter. Where am I? What is this place? It's a very interesting place. Well, we got ourselves a dagger. If you know anything about altars and daggers, you probably know what's coming next. Vorpal, an ancient ritual dagger. The blade is covered with dried blood. Yeah, so uh, that gives us a hint as to what we'll need to do. There we go. Now you don't like highlight yourself, but you start to click it on yourself. Get some blood on there. I always love these kinds of things where like if you put like some kind of liquid in a container then it spreads out in a cool little symbol. And it opens up these uh, five little openings here. So I think you know what's coming next there. So we have the different colored jewels with the different colored keys. Oh, that one's over here. I'm a little bit colorblind, so it's not the easiest thing for me. I believe this one, wait a second, is here. There we go. 
And that one's green, I believe. And for some reason, these colors are really hard for me to tell apart a bit. <laughs> Alright. And finally. So we're almost done here. Uh, before I finish this up, is there anything to look at? No, Samuel doesn't have anything to say about this. It's just with that huge throne there. How big was Mordred? Well, this is it. Once we read this, it's done. Zodokare pusadire im coraxo zodere matorebe matoribi vax da sobra ve maliore vax da sobra malior im ibute amena vi busatire amena vax zodokare shadow over me. My soul has blackened from sins that cannot be undone. Evil has many faces, many forms. I know that the past has been a diverted mirror of my soul. Here, there is no judge to pass judgment. There is only me. That is the end of the Black Mirror. The first game, that is. So yeah, I do remember the first time I played this game, I was slightly disappointed, but that's just because I hadn't played it 2 and 3 yet. Now that I have and i played this game again, this is a very good beginning. I do like this game now. It's not that I hated the game, it was, like, it was a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, it had a very good grim atmosphere and uh, was creepy, had a nice little mystery to it to where you find out you're the killer. So we did seal Mordred away. I just wish, I think it was disappointing because I wish it would sh have shown more, explained more with the whole Gordon curse, with the mystery of the Black Mirror, which, with what the heck we even did at the end there. It looks like we may have sealed him away. But either way, this is a good beginning. I do like it. And the Black Mirror 2 definitely has great great improvements upon this game in almost every aspect except the inventory system but we'll get to that but these are good games like i said I, there's two and three which um it, it does fill one full trilogy and then there's the fourth black mirror game which i guess is either a reboot or a prequel to these games uh, i'm not 100 percent sure on that i haven't played it yet but uh, at some point I'll play it on my own and uh, we'll see. I haven't heard great things about it, but I'll try to pass my own judgment on it when the time comes. And of course when the time comes I'll have to play that one too because i got to play the whole series. But uh, I do like this game. Now there are a couple mysteries left unsolved. So Samuel was the one who killed those people. But if he hadn't, if he wasn't at Black Mirror yet, how did he kill uh, William, the first guy who died? Did he kill William, or was it just the spirit of Mordred powering up and doing it? Or was Samuel there all along? There was one line, I kind of mentioned it before, that it uh, sort of solved a mystery, where Samuel was saying, I got here before the mail could even arrive to 
or before I could even send out the mail to say I was coming. It almost gives me the hint that Samuel was already there. Like, Mordred had reached out to him. From way across, he got there and killed him, and then... When they sent out a letter to them, all of a sudden Samuel was already there, saying I came as quickly as I could. It's the only thing I could think. I don't know, It's that, that's never solved. And there's another, like, it's a smaller mystery, and it's even uh, joked about in the next... It's either, either two or three, I forget which one. But, uh, you remember when we first arrived at Black Mirror, we were looking around, and there was that wood chipper that was covered in blood. We never find out where that, blood's c that blood came from. There was, at that point, there was no one else killed but William, and William died from falling from far above. No one else that was maimed. Uh, if it had been someone else that had been killed, then it would have counted as one of the sacrifices, maybe? I don't know, but... It is kind of a mystery. I think it just added, they did that to add to the creepiness to it, which I did like. Oh, what else? Uh, I think that's about it for mysteries. Yeah, it was uh, quite a mysterious game that didn't have quite all the clear answers that we could have hoped for. But there will be more explanations and more clarification in the next couple of games, so don't you worry. Anyway, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends, your neighbors, your dog about this channel. If they're into the old school gaming. And that's about all I have to say. So, uh, yeah, coming up on my channel. Just more, uh, trying to complete some series that I've started. Almost done with Police Quest. Almost done with Space Quest. And then, uh, I also have to finish up the, uh, King Edward series from the Elder Scrolls. That's a full 12 books in that. I've only gotten through 6, so I'm going to see if I can finish that first, and then uh, we'll go from there. So again, thank you all for watching, and have a good day.